Today, the U.S. military came under attack, not overseas, but here at home. A gunman opened fire at two military facilities in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Four Marines were killed and another was wounded. A police officer and one other person were also wounded. Their names have not yet been released, but the gunman is identified as 24-year-old Mohammed Yusuf Abdulaziz. He was born in Kuwait, but lived in the Chattanooga area. He was killed today, apparently, by the police. We have a team of correspondents covering this story. First, we'll go to Mark Strassman in Chattanooga. Mark. Scott, this is the military recruiting station where it all began. The facade is uh, riddled with bullet holes. Those blue numbered cones behind me mark where the spent shell casings fell. This strip mall was the first of the two attacks. Police say around 10.30 this morning, a man drove right up to the Armed Forces Career Center and then gunshots as stunned witnesses watched. We heard a loud pop and then there was a pause. And so that caused us, we went to the window to see what was going on. And when we went to the window, there was a guy in a silver, um, in a silver Mustang convertible. And he was just unloading a large gun on the um, Naval Recruiting Office. The gunman fired 25 to 30 times, then drove off. No one here was killed. One Marine was shot in the leg. Police were called and were in pursuit as the suspect drove seven miles away to this Navy and Marine Reserve Center. Everyone who died was killed at this location. The gunman's Mustang was found near the facility's front entrance. It appeared as though he smashed through an unmanned gate and drove 100 feet inside. Four Marines were gunned down. The bodies of two of them lay in the parking lot. The gunman exchanged shots with police and is dead, apparently shot by a police officer. Chattanooga Police Chief Fred Fletcher. There were numerous Chattanooga and Hamilton County officers who responded. Uh, they, they arrived on the scene extremely quickly and they actively and enthusiastically engaged this brazen criminal. People started showing up to grieve the dead right away. The twin attacks lasted a half hour, but for this community, coming to terms with this deadly day and the deaths of four Marines will take much longer. FBI technicians are now processing this crime scene. Scott, the names of the dead Marines have not been released until their families have been notified. Mark Strassman reporting from one of the scenes of the crime today. Mark, thank you very much.